I'm now walking uh, to my English school interview as an English teacher. So I've got a shirt on, so I'm semi prepared, as prepared as I can be. Uh, at this rate, I should get there about 10 minutes beforehand, so I'm just in time. Uh, so you should be right. Ideally, I think it's an evening teacher from like uh, Monday to Friday in the evening, so like from 5 pm till 8 pm, from what I've seen on their website. So that should be cool. Uh, that should be cool. So uh, yeah, it be interesting. I have no idea what the pay is so per hour, but I mean it's some money coming in, and it's 11 hours per week. So hopefully, if today goes well, then uh, I'll have another source of income. So hopefully that will go well. Uh, but yeah, I don't know exactly what to prepare for it. Uh, obviously, all I need to do is to speak slowly like this, as if they're a child, but um, without obviously talking down to them. But it should be alright. As long as I speak clearly and slowly, that's the main thing really, isn't it? I like, I'd hold the conversation. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, hopefully it should go well. I nearly literally got run over by a car then, so gotta be careful. Uh, so hopefully it'll go well. I'll keep you updated. I've just arrived. I'm, I'm literally about 15 minutes early. So rather than sort of going in now, what I'm gonna do is wait. So basically the language school is over there. I think that's it, yeah. It's called Go Beyond Valencia. So yeah, let's see how it goes and just literally, I've checked where it is, so it is in here now, I know exactly where to go. Um, cool, calm as I can be. So yeah, let's see how this interview, I've no idea who's going to be interviewing me. This woman who got in touch, I think she owns it, or she's a coordinator for the English teachers. So yeah, I'll have to see how this goes, but uh, I've no idea how to prepare for an English teaching job. Like what do you learn, nouns, verbs, like how do you do it, I don't know. But conversation and rate of speech is the main thing, so that's what I'm going to do super slow and yeah let's see how it goes right, that was mental literally the interview lasted for about half an hour and basically the first half of it was in English and there was basically a woman and a man there and um, they're both Spanish but the woman sounded literally like she was from Birmingham or down south so it was really weird uh, really sort of proper English accent and um, I had to pronounce literally every word that I had I had dry mouth as soon as I got there um, so I had to like literally down loads of water um, yeah, it was good though. The uh, interview went well. Half of it was in English, and then the guy there was Spanish, obviously, but he didn't speak much English. So I was speaking all of a sudden, we were like, right, hablamos en español. And I was like, Fod. I was like, Foder. okay, let's go. Um, so yeah, I had to get my Spanish words together again um, while I was sober, as I am now. So yeah, it was interesting. Uh, they were like, right, where do you see yourself in three years' time? And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in six months' time, never mind three years' time. Um, so yeah, and then I mentioned Ling Online, I had to mention that, obviously. So yeah, I'm making this app that instantly connects native speakers from across the world by live video calling, and I see myself working on that in three years' time. So they're like, oh, okay, super. But they've got my CV anyway, and it's on there, so yeah, they'll see it. So I was, just, I was explaining to them how, um, obviously, how that's going and how that inc can incorporate business with languages so uh, yeah but they were really chatty really easy to get on with and um, basically the timing was like from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Like five days a week so Monday to Friday and uh, yeah so yeah they basically said they've been touched and so we can go from there but they've only it's like literally a small private language school that so they intend to sort of start in October classes as they grow so I'll see how it goes anyway, but um, it's more of a long-term commitment that they want, consistency. Like someone be becoming a part of their like team effectively. So, uh, so yeah, if we're going to work there, I'd be staying there for like, I'd be working for months on end. And that would be sustainable though, to be fair, if that was the case. So yeah, let's see how it goes and I'll keep you updated.